How's it going everyone? Lucian Sword here. So we're going to be playing some Danny Phantom in Brawlhalla. That's right. It is a brand new mod. And uh, I saw this one on my Twitter timeline and instantly wanted to make a video on it. Not just because I like the mod. Uh, honestly, I never really watched the cartoon Danny Phantom, so I don't really know much about Danny Phantom. I just like how he looks. And after playing Nickelodeon All-Stars, whatever that game was, you could play Danny Phantom in that game, but wow, it is so much more fun to play Danny Phantom in Brawlhalla, and I'm going to show you. I think part of the reason why is because this mod is for Fate, and more more specifically, the Cosmic Fate skin. So if you have Cosmic Fate and you're on PC, you can get this mod for free. Not only does this mod have Danny Phantom, and yes, you can change his colors, uh, but it also comes with an animated scythe. Check that out. It looks really cool in other colors as well. Uh, we'll use classic colors just for the first game here. And then we're going to change the colors in the next couple games. Because I want you guys to see what the uh, animated scythe looks like in different colors. This is actually probably the first time I've seen a mod where they actually had an animated weapon. So well done. The orb is not animated unfortunately. Um, we do have some animated orb skins that we can use, but we'll save that for the next game. For the very first game, we're just going to use default Cosmic Fate, default weapons. And uh, I guess I'll go defense stance. And yeah, like I said, I much prefer playing Danny Phantom in Brawlhalla than Nickelodeon. Because Brawlhalla is just a much more fun, smooth, clean experience, in my opinion. Alright, so very first game, we have what looks like a pretty tough opponent. We have a diamond rank Petra. Petra is a good legend, and omnipotent is diamond, so that's not going to be easy for sure. But let's see how we can do with Danny Phantom. So far, so good. Oh wow, I actually hit him with that down stick. Man, he almost got us with that side stick. That was pretty crazy. That should do it. Alright, but check out this weapon. Doesn't that look really cool? Like I said, I don't really know much about Danny Phantom. I didn't watch the... Uh, cartoons, so I don't really know what the significance of the animated weapon is, uh, if any. Mess up my combo there. Fishing for a down air a little bit too much. Oh my goodness, how did that neutral sig, it made the sound like it hit him, and then it didn't, and then he just ground pound me to oblivion, so that that's unfortunate. But it's all good. We have a pretty good lead anyways already, so... Wow, he spot dodged when we were so far away that I was able to side sig and punish. But yeah, the mod looks so clean, doesn't it? So clean. Like, this looks like better than the real Danny Phantom in Nickelodeon All-Stars. Almost got him with that neutral sig. I'm still waiting for him to hit me with a neutral sig of his own on the orb. Most Petra players love hitting that. Woo, got him on the side light read. And we should have this game. Oh. He is almost dead. Goodbye, good night. First game with Danny Phantom is a win, baby. I'm trying to be kind of quiet right now because 
my son is sleeping in the other room and I don't want to wake him up, so that's why I'm a little bit quiet. Uh, GG Omnipotence, that was actually a lot harder than I probably made it look. I was pretty nervous the whole time, so GG dude, GG. Um, but yeah, Danny Phantom, let's try a different color. How about, how about Gold Forged? It just looks really cool, and I'm gonna keep the scythe every single time, because it's just so cool. But, we can give him an animated orb, in fact, uh, we have a, we have quite a few. We have the Galactic Glitch, but that's not the one I'm looking for. Um, Power of Will. This is the one that looks almost like the default orb that comes with Danny Phantom. Uh, but it's animated, so look at that. Pretty cool. It goes well with the animated scythe as well. And by the way, I just want to say how good of a job they did on the, on the shading of the character. Like, even when you're attacking, you notice that the facial expressions will change. He gets angry eyes and stuff. Like, just the little details like that make it seem like a real crossover skin. And not just a mod. Three, two, one, Alright, here we go. Going against uh, Jiro. I am doing a terrible job here of punishing this guy. But yeah, he's doing a great job of punishing me. It doesn't matter how you start, it only matters how you finish. We started poorly, but that doesn't mean we will finish poorly. Quite the opposite. I'm feeling like we'll finish pretty strong here. That was a good neutral sig though. I thought I could uh, just kind of punch him right out of it, but I guess not. Ooh, he dodged straight down, huh? Got him there. That would hurt, not gonna lie, but still feeling confident. All right, there's one. Sometimes I just can feel like I'm gonna beat somebody even when I'm like getting my butt kicked at first. I don't know what it is, but I just feel like we're gonna win this guy. Maybe not, we'll see. Oh, you're not back yet. Nope. <laughs> you're not coming back. All right, well, we have Jiro on the ropes. He's on his final stock. Of course, we're in red ourselves, so we gotta be careful, but... Mm -hmm. So far, it's looking like we're gonna get that. Oh man, GG, dude. I told you guys, like, we got our butt kicked that first stock, but just by the way he was like kind of being a little bit reckless, I knew we, if he continued that behavior, we'd be able to punish, and he, he pretty much did continue that behavior. Um, Alright, well I'll do at least one more game with Danny Phantom, just because this is a really cool mod, and I know that you guys want to see it as much as possible. Um, let's do black, and instead of doing 1v1, let's try something different. I always do 1v1. Um, whether I do strike out or experimental or ranked. So let's do something different. Uh, should I do 2v2 or free for all? You pretty much never see a YouTuber do free for all in Brawlhalla, so we're gonna do it. I'm gonna be that guy who plays free for all. Let's go. And I like free for all just because you have opportunities for things like triple kills, double kills, uh, multi kills. Uh, you have opportunities for like alliances and betrayal and like <laughs> you know what i mean like free for all is a little more hectic sure but it's not bad i actually level up most of my legends when i'm trying to get level 25 with a legend i usually play free for all a lot and 1v1 because i just level up fast doing that all right well we're going against a sentinel another fate and a vow now one thing to know about mods and I say this every time I make a video on a Brahala mod, 
Nobody else can see your mods that you have installed. They're on your computer only, not everybody else's, so they're not gonna see these skins. Alright, Sentinel's looking for blood, we're gonna give it to him. Oh, I like how he did that down sig right there, that was actually pretty cool. I would prefer to have a scythe, so let's get the scythe. The only thing I don't like about free for all sometimes I feel like I can do a lot of work and like damage a lot of people, and then somebody will just come in and steal the kill, basically. So you can have somebody who's not even that good win the game, technically, if they just wait until everybody's in red to steal the kill. But... That's just how it is. Oh my goodness. Goodbye, fate. That was just savage. Oh my goodness, that recovery. It reached so far on the gauntlets. Alright, well, we're in the lead, but there's a lot of time left, so anything could still happen. Especially when that sentinel keeps on hitting me with SIGs. Oh, goodbye, fate. Goodbye. Nope, she's not dead. Gonna send her up that time. Alright. Val, I need- Oh, I was just gonna say I need to kill Val because she's in red. And then Sentinel beat us to it. Oh! How did I not hit the bait with that side sig? Okay, well there's Sentinel. Goodbye. And I'm dead. Alright, well, we gotta kill that fate because she is very close in points. Oh, well, Sentinel beat it to beat us to her, killing her, but that's okay, she still lost points. If you don't know how free for all works, it's not like you have limited stocks. Basically, every time you get a kill on somebody, you get plus two, and they get minus one. See, she killed me, so that's a three-point swing. Now, they're both in red, so if I can kill, like, one of these... That's all I would need to get my lead back. And this fate knows it. Come back, Sentinel! I need to kill you! Okay, well... We're probably gonna lose this one. We're probably gonna lose it, but that's okay. We still had fun. And let's see how much damage I did. See, 800 damage, and everybody else had way lower, but we only got third place, so that's just how it is sometimes in free for all, but it's still fun. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, let me know what you think of the Danny Phantom mod, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave a link to download this mod in the description below, so if you wanna get it for yourself, go ahead and check that out. And uh, yeah, hope to see you in the next video. This is Lucian Sword. Take it easy, friends.